tough game, but overall just three reaction after the final whistle. I mean, we're happy to be scoring goals, and if you score three goals in a game, you should win the game, so we're happy with that. Um, not happy about the end. Um, it seems kind of like a broken record, but we can't do that anymore. You can't compete if you're going to let them score in the 90th minute every game. But we're happy with the performance, and no matter what, we do fight, and so I'm proud of that, and I'm proud that we could at least get a point out of it. There's now three games in a row with goals, two home games in a row with three goals scored. You've got three goals in the last three games. Is that confidence in the, the team's ability to score really coming on now? Yeah, I think... I said it the first, the Portland game, but it's so much easier to play when you score. If, if we're not scoring, the stress on the field, you can just see it from the back line up. So we're happy that we're scoring goals. Um, I knew that after that drought, if we just scored one goal, it was just going to break open for us because we have some of the best attacking players in the entire league on our team. There's no reason we shouldn't be scoring goals. So it, I think it was just a rut and a psychological thing where we like couldn't get out of it. And once we did, it just broke open for us. But again, from the front line to the back line, not it's not just on the defenders, but it's everybody. We cannot compete with any team if we're going to keep doing that in the 90th. That's probably the fourth or fifth time that we've let that happen. And it's just, you can't compete in this league if you're going to do that. No matter what else has gone on this season, you guys haven't allowed more than one goal in a long time. What, what was going on out there from your standpoint? What was different? Well, Jess McDonald, in my opinion, is one of the most dangerous players in the league because she's so good with her head. And the one thing I think that makes her so dangerous with her head is she's so fast. So when you're trying to track her and Lynn as well, the other four. So when you're trying to track her in the box, she's so fast she gets away from you. Um, and we knew that going in, and I mean, it's difficult to defend her. She's literally a physical specimen with just everything. And so we knew that they were going to score goals, and they're the, I think Lynn and her are the two leading scorers in the yeah. league. So we knew it was going to be a tough game defensively, um, but at the end like that, you just have to scrap and scrape your way to not let them score. You just have to say, I'm not letting them score no matter who it is. I don't care if it's freaking Abby Wambach in the box. I'm not letting her head this ball, and that's what it comes down to.